guys, it's Tanya. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you all. And um, we are going to make two different covers um, for a Halloween junk journal. Okay, um, I'm hoping that I can get these videos, which I plan to, back to back. So that you can, so we can make the cover in one and we can do the pages and um, embellishments in the other video. So you guys can kind of get an idea so you will have um, a journal already ready for your October daily. Okay, so let's get to it. So... We're just gonna go with it because it's a lot. So I got some stickers and I think they look really pretty. Um, I really like the uh, purple and all that stuff. I really like the traditional Halloween colors too, but I kind of want to do something a little bit different. So I thought those were cute. I didn't get too gory. I'm not into the gory Halloween, but um, I got these felt shapes and I thought that what we could do with them is we could back paper on them and use them as tags. So I got these as well. This is the ghost and this is the pumpkin. And then I got, this is like um, a garland, but I thought it would be cute to have um, them hanging out of the journal and stuff like that so we can just cut it off, right? Okay, and then I got these and um, this is another garland, but isn't it so fun? I love the colors in it, right? So I got this one. And then these are note. Okay, so I thought these would be perfect to add um, in my journal. You know, since I always do um, a little um, notebook or something like that. Aren't they cute, right? Or you can, like, use these for um, your October daily, too. You know, and just have little ones or something like that. You don't have to make a big journal, but that's that. And then I got these right here. Um, it's three gift bags, and I was thinking this is going to be the cover of one of the journals, right? I really like that. And then we have the Happy Halloween, right? And then we have this one. Cute, okay? And then they had some um, zipper sealed bags, right? And there's quite a few of them in here. I thought these would make good... Um, you know, embellishments and things like that, pockets and stuff like that for the journal. Okay. Oh, and then they had this. This is like fright tape, but um, I thought it was really nice. Um, um, and then the way it looked and stuff like that. I was thinking we could probably add some double-sided tape to this and make our own washi with it. So that's kind of my idea with this one. Okay. And then, of course, you know, I had to get a black cat. Um, and these are felt, right? And it's a good deal because it's twelve for a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, it's a good deal. Okay, so then I got just some um, regular sandwich lunch um, bags. Um, you can make your journal cover out of this if you wanted to. But I was thinking we could use this kind of like for pages, right? So that's what I was thinking with that. Then I bought this, and guys, it's so cute. I know it's pot holders, but I was thinking, wouldn't it make the perfect um, six by six? It's kind of like six by six journal. So I think we're gonna make a cover. We're gonna make a cover with this, and we're gonna make a cover with the bag. I'm gonna show you guys how to do both of them in this video, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so that's that. And then I bought these, right? These big bags. I think they're, I think they're supposed to be wine bags. I don't know, guys. Um, but I thought they were really cute, and I thought we could use them in the journal as well, right? Then I got some bandanas. Look, so this is this is a good way to have, like, Halloween-themed fabric, right? You guys know I like fabric. Um, so um, we're going to be using this as well. It's got spiders on it, so you get two for $1.25, which is a great deal. And then I got these these are glitter bones they're styrofoam but i thought that we could use these as um, embellishments and decorations for our journal uh, for our journal <laughs> okay and then i got some back clips right guys this is just my halloween stash for this year but i have a a whole nother one for last year from the dollar tree as well but i'm gonna try to stick to just um you know this this year okay so this is um tool and our mesh and it's gold and it has spider webs on it really pretty glittery but pretty and then we need the pages right so i got the construction paper um and i was thinking 
um, I kind of wanted black paper and, um, you know, purple and um, what else? Green. Let me get my scissors out, y'all. And I was thinking that I can just coffee dye it and we can use these as pages, right? So we're going to use this as pages two. And I do have a paper pad, but I'm trying to just make everything with Dollar Tree, okay? Um, so I might do that on an, um, another journal, but here we go. So this is the colors. And I think they'll work. And then I got the scribble um, pad, the jumbo scribble scribble pad. And I love uh, the color of it. And when you coffee dye this pad, it looks really good. Okay. So those are the um, things for Halloween. And guys, look what they had. Aren't they cute? Right? They're the vintage hotel keychains. And I thought we could like back it with... Um, some paper or some stickers or something like that and add these um, as embellishments for this and then this is just for another journal or just for whatever I want <laughs> and then they had these and guys I don't know if you've seen the socks oh the viral socks that are going around and I know I'm kind of old for them and my daughter's gonna open I'm gonna make them anyway so I got some um things at the Dollar Tree right for it already look at that says bestie love sassy right okay guys so that is the haul let's get to making the journal cover guys before we get started I forgot to show you this so I bought these as well and I bought ribbon okay so this one has like um, silver uh, spider webs on it and this is just a diamond pattern and um, I know that's called something else. I know that pattern is called something else, but I can't think of it. Um, yeah, and I thought we could use these as well. Okay, so let's get started. So um, let's do this one first. I think this is the easiest one to do. Uh, first, let's do this one first. Then we'll do the other one. So what we're going to do, guys, I don't know if I want to cut this off. Hmm. I'm going to cut it off. I'm just going to cut it off. Right? And hopefully. Okay. So we're going to just cut this piece off. And I already removed the tags from right there. I'm going to cut this off. I don't want to cut the piece like this. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's that. So I'm just going to go like this. Hey, boo. <laughs> Cute. Okay. So um, we're going to make a spine. And I was thinking about making the spine maybe. Let's do a an inch spine. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Um, so what we're going to use is we're going to use cardstock for the spine. And we are just going to mark it. So um, we're going to leave. This is the easiest way to do it, I think. We're going to leave um, a half. No, let's leave an inch from um, the side. And then we're going to mark in between there. We're going to mark another inch. And then we're going to mark another inch. Okay. So that's the that's the easiest way to do it i'm sorry y'all so we're going to cut this down and let's see i want to i'm not going to um measure it per se because i know this little piece is a rounded corner so what we're going to do is we're going to put the spine in between the rounded corners right here so that measures um it's five inches so that's five inches. So we're going to cut this off at about five inches right there. Okay. Guys, okay, we're going to take this as a scoreboard. And since I already made my score marks, we're just going to score it where I made the mark. Okay. So I'm just scoring it down just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to move that up there and score this one as well. I really love this bone folder. Um, and I will have it linked if you guys want to check it out if you guys don't already have it. Um, okay, 
So now we have our um, spine. Okay, so it's going to go like this, right? Just like that. Okay, so now this is where I always get in trouble because I'm always um, trying to figure out what I want to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these, y'all. And I'm thinking what we're going to take is, I kind of like this one. I think it's a good contrast. What do y'all think? I think this is a good contrast. And I don't think you'll see it all. But then, oh, I kind of like this one too. The spider. We're going to do this one. We're, we're just going to do this one. Okay. We're going to use this one as our... Um, spine piece fabric all right okay all right need to start throwing that stuff away okay and this is how it's going to go now since this is really thin it's really really thin what you could have done and what I probably should have done is made this black, but I didn't expect it to be so thin. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get black cardstock and we're going to make it black and then um, layer it over. Okay guys, so I just swapped it out. Same exact thing, just swapped it out. You could have used the construction paper as well, but I thought the construction paper was a little bit flimsy and you wanted kind of like a 110 pound weight cardstock for the middle, okay? So um, I have this Fabri-Tac to just uh, tack this down, right? And um, that's how we're going to do it. It's going to be real easy. Now, you guys know that I'm going to sew, right? You don't have to sew, so I'm trying to show you how to do it without having to sew it, right? And so I usually take my um, a piece of paper and I just smear it so you don't have the glue glops in your fabric. Okay guys, so, so all we did was just put the piece that we cut on a piece of the fabric and I just cut part of the bandana out. I'm sorry about not filming that part. Um, and you guys can see kind of I messed up, okay? Uh, so we're going to cut it off a little bit. Like this. And guys the reason why I like to cover I mean to cut it out after I place it um, because sometimes I mess up and you guys know how I am when I mess up I always mess up so it's easier for me to have a bigger space to work with than a smaller space to work with um, I know I don't know if that makes sense but um, we can always use this for something else so I don't think it's a waste okay and we're just gonna fold this over like this doesn't matter if you can see the, um, what is that? The glue on this side, okay? You just don't want to be able to see the glue on that part. All right? So we're going to go here. Like that. Add the glue. And guys, I will be sewing. You guys know that. But you don't have to, so I'm trying to show you that you don't have to sew it. Just make sure you, um... If you don't sew it, make sure you're, you're gluing every piece down, right? So I'm going to show you because I usually sew this part, so I usually don't really glue this part. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it without sewing it um, because I know everybody doesn't sew. So that part and that part. Okay. Now you have a spine piece, right? Really easy. All right, and then you're going to add it right here. So the spine piece is going to be right here. And I know you guys are like, well, that doesn't look right. The pages are going to be a little bit longer than the spine, but that's okay. I think it's going to look, I think it's going to turn out really good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add this on to this. Like this. I'm going to glue it. All the way up there like this. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Is that the way? Oh my goodness, y'all. Alright. Put it up like this. 
I want to make sure is right. Right, right, right. Okay. So, last part, right? Make sure you're folding it right so we can get the other part. So I'm going to glue this part, like right here. You'll be able to do um, this technique with the Christmas decorations as well. Um, the Christmas bags and the Christmas pot holders and things like that. Um, that they have at the Dollar Tree as well. Right, let's make sure it's right. Let's make sure. Bring it up. It's okay. Alright, let it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. And I am going to sew. Okay, guys, we have our spine. It is all done, right? Um, it is not quite dry yet, and you have a piece that's kind of sticking up. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to dry it and let it dry. And then we're going to take it to the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew along this, and I'm going to sew along that, okay? But what I wanted to tell you guys, too, is for the inside. Um, I'm sorry guys, my allergies are acting up. Um, you can definitely use another piece of fabric to lay right here so you don't see this part um, because you're going to have to sew in your signatures. You can do this part um, last or you can do it now. But So I wanted to show you guys the complete cover so we're going to do it now, okay? So I'm going to measure, um, what well, kind of measure? A piece and we're gonna start from right here because I think it should go right here right just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it down and then I'm gonna cut around it right I think I think that'll work um, I think that will work um what I could have done is I could have cut out the pieces before I um, you know, did my spine and all that. You could definitely do that, y'all. This is just me being Tanya doing it the Tanya way. <laughs> you guys don't have to do it my way. Okay, so we're going to glue um, both sides down, right? And we're going to cut it out, and then I'm going to sew around it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like, right? Um, it is kind of dry, so I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This is the inside, so I haven't covered this part yet um, because we're going to um, use this part to um, sew in our signatures, right? Um, <clears throat> let me see what else I was going to tell you. Oh, I'm going to take a zigzag stitch and go all around everything, okay? And I will show you what I have when I come. Okay, guys, we are done with the journal cover. Now, so don't look at this, y'all. This is just stuff that I didn't let it dry. And I went through my sewing machine, but we can cover that up. And this part, I kind of probably could have sewed that a little bit better. So I'll just, you know, go and sew over that a little bit better um, when it comes down to um, the finishing touches. Um, and we'll put something right here so you can't see it. The white, you know, I'm not worried about it. But other than that, I think the cover turned out really really nice and now if you are patient and you are not like me you will let it all dry and you will not have the white seepage okay but since I was trying to show you guys how you can do it I got a little seepage and that's but that's okay I think it's gonna be perfect okay so let's work on the other cover so this is gonna be the other cover and what I'm gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this hopefully you know what I'm not going to do it that way because I got a feeling I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to cut this right here. And I'm going to cut it kind of like right here because I can take this part to my paper trimmer and make it really straight. Right? 
going to do it like that. Okay. Now we're going to remove these. And I'm just going to do it like this. I'm trying not to rip the front of the bag because you know me, I will rip it. Okay. And I think we're going to make this one kind of like a traveler's notebook, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my scoreboard. I'm not scoreboard, my paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut this off right here. I'm going to cut this. I am going to cut this piece, and I'm going to cut a little bit of the perf perforated edge, maybe like a fourth of an inch off, okay? okay, guys? So this is what it looks like right now. So I'm going to take my... Um, I'm going to take my... Um, what am I trying to say, y'all? I'm so sorry. I'm going to take my uh, paper trimmer. Oh, my God. And I'm going to cut this piece off, and I'm going to cut this piece off, right? So, um, I'm going to do that. Just like that. Move this piece right here. Come on. Like this. Come on. All right. There you go. So we have two pieces like this, and I wanna make sure they're even. Yeah, they're even, and is this cricket? No, that's straight. Okay, so we have that. So this is our two covers, front and back, right? Okay, now what you could do, you could do this. You could use this as the paper in the middle um, you could definitely do that and what we would have to do is we would just have to cut it a little bit smaller so that it can wrap. Do you guys want to do that? Or, or, I have an idea, or we can use the ribbon as our, um, spine. Hmm. Guys, what do I want to do? I think we're going to use the ribbon. Okay. All right. So we need chipboard. Now, I have this chipboard and it's already black. It's really thick. Um, it is the back of this canvas um, paper. I can use this. It will be easier. But um, I think I'm just going to use regular chipboard. Look how thick that is. Yeah, this is really thick. It's way thicker, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to butt it up like this. Guys, hold on. I'm going to get all some of this stuff cleaned off of my desk. I'm so sorry. Okay. And I am going to just right here, right here, and do the next piece. That looks crooked, but it'll be all right. I, it will be okay. I'm just going to do it. I forgot to say, this is 12 by 12 chipboard. I will have it linked um, for you guys. Um, this is the chipboard I use quite a bit. Uh-oh. All right, so I am going to use my paper trimmer. Not the Fiskars, but um, I use this one to cut my chipboard because um, it has a spring kind of like in here. Okay guys, so we have cut our pieces out, right? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this um, shoe polish and I'm going to go around it. Now, you can definitely ink it. Uh, I just found this is the easiest way to do it. Um, for me, so it'll look, you know, right? Um, what was I, what was I going to say? You can definitely get this at the Dollar Tree. Um, in fact, this is where this came from, the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just gonna. You can take a sharpie. Um, I just don't have any. I know, right? I don't have any sharpies, but um, because it seems like they just disappear. But um, this is an easier way to do it. You can do your distress inks if you have black distress ink. I do not, for some reason, do not have black distress ink. But I'm be okay. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, I might not have any more in here. Yeah, I got enough. 
All right. Okay. That's that. And then we're going to take our um, paper bag and we're going to just glue it up to the edge. Um, hopefully I can get the wrinkles out. You know what, guys? I wonder if I... I wonder if I ironed this, would it be straighter? Uh, that's all right. It uh, does it matter? Is it gonna matter? Is it gonna make me? Is it gonna make me crazy if I don't get the wrinkles out, y'all? It is gonna make me crazy if I don't get the wrinkles out. Okay, <laughs> yes, right I flatten it out just a little bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to use um, score tape. Oh my God! It was just like so much to get out of there. I'm going to use score tape um, for the edges. I, hopefully this is not a bad idea, but I think it's going to be a good idea just to use square tape just right there. Right. And we're going to use score tape on this edge. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I am going to do the other side I'm going to glue it down and show you guys what we got when we come back we will add the spine piece okay okay guys so got all this stuff right here originally I was going to use this for my spine right and I don't think it's going to be big enough it might be it might be so we'll we'll see okay but first things first we are going to um measure and we're going to use this as the binding for like to fold it over like you know I'm so dumb like we did like this guys we're going to make a piece just like this okay um so I am going to measure it up and because I'm not giving you measurements am I because everybody's bag might be different but it is roughly four and um five sixteenths by eight and one fourth okay so we're gonna make this like a Midori okay um, I think that's the easiest way and then we can use these as the um, page covers uh, no as the book covers right okay so that's what we're gonna do um, for this one okay and the spine piece is an inch and a half Okay, um, so that is the spine piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of like do it like we did the other one. Um, just, you know, make sure we have some left on the side. Um, this one, we are going to, yeah, we're going to do it just like that. And we're just going to butt it up to there. I'm going to measure maybe um, an eighth of an inch away from the spine so we can give it a little bit of a, a gusset like right okay I'm gonna show you guys Hold on just a second okay this is my score mark hopefully it goes up there okay, there we go That's off. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. Jesus. You see that? Yeah. That sucks. That's okay. We'll cover it. No big deal. And it'll still be okay. Okay. So we have that piece. I'm going to just cut this off this and we're going to fold it up with all cardstock is not created equal right okay we have a little thing like that all right a little ledge like this we're going to fold this back oh and fold this back on itself like this and that's how it's going to look right so this is going to go up there like this. Of course, we're going to cut it. 
Okay, so it's just going to be like a reg regular book. We're going to cut this to match the size, of course. Right? Well, make sure we cut that piece off. Right? Right there. Okay, now what I was going to do is I was going to add the chipboard back here like this. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chipboard right here. Right? I'm going to add the chipboard right here. And let's see if this works. Because originally I was going to... You know what, guys? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if this idea works. If it doesn't, then we'll, we have plenty of um, bandana fabric that we can use. Right? This might be see-through. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Um, I guess we can use this one or, uh, let's use this one, I think. I think we're going to use the black and white one. Yes. I don't know why I just didn't do that one in the first place. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this one, right? And we're going to... Um, glue this down and um, okay guys so um, we have our pieces right and I decided to go with it on the outside okay um, I just think it would be better let me put these those are my good scissors okay um, we're gonna glue this onto here um, you guys know that this fabric is really thin so the glue is going to try its best to seep through um what i would advise you to do is um make sure that um you kind of smear the glue so um you don't have like big glumps i'll show you just smooth it down a little bit Yeah. Like big clumpy things. Guys, this is just the way I do it. If you have another way to do it, then by all means use your way. I do not use Mod Podge because me and Mod Podge do not get along. So yeah, that's why I'm not using Mod Podge. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it. And I'm going to do it this way. And you want to leave some hanging at the top and some hanging at the bottom. Right? Like this. Okay. Then you want to crease that edge like this. And to this side. Like that. Right? And then you want to take this piece. And you want to add the glue onto here. Like this. Fold it down really good. Just like we did the other one. Right? Okay. And we're going to do this piece just the same. Like that. And we are going to do it like this. Okay. So now you have your spine piece now remember it's going to be you might be able to see a little bit of glue because it's a real thin fabric but let it dry right let it dry and we can always add stuff if it gets too yucky like this one just did sheesh guys but it's okay we'll add something to it I'm not worried about it all right, and then you have your cover like this. Now, I know you can see this piece, but guys, we can fix it, okay? So don't worry about it. I am going to cut this right here off because it's just a little bit too much. I don't need it. Right? The main thing about doing covers is the time it takes to dry. You know, so you have to let it dry so it looks nice. Because um, if you don't let it dry, then 
you have little things like I have in my covers, but that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. You can always cover it up. Okay, so I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do this one for the back and then this one for the front like this. Um, before I do that, I'm going to take my emery board and I'm just going to do a little bit like this so that you flatten down to the paper so it'll look like it's on there. And I have some distress. I think I have black distress. We'll look and see. I don't think I do. Um, let me see if I have any more of this. We'll use this as distress. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'll take this and just do it like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, oh yeah, I think it looks nice, right, does that look nice, guys? Alright, so I'm going to take score tape, I had it laying down flat, I should, not, I should have put it up because, you know, if you lay it down flat, everything sticks to it, take this piece like this, right, and put this right here. So it can catch really, really easily. Then I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to take this glue. And I am going to put that in the middle like that okay and we're going to push this down like this push this one down take this one off okay and take this one off like this this one might be a little bit hard to stick down because it's on fabric but that's okay all right I am going to take my glue again and I'm going to come at the tip right here and I'm going to come at the tip right here. Okay. Did I put that? Yeah. Guys, why y'all let me put that on the wrong piece? <clears throat> we'll do it on this side. <sighs> I'm always messing up. Okay. Yo, I did all that work for it to be on the wrong side. <laughs> it's okay. And I didn't even use my emery board on this one, but I will. It's no big deal. Uh oh. It's okay. Told y'all I'm always messing up. Y'all know that. Okay. And so we're going to take this and we're going to put it up like so. Just like that. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. My husband called. Um, if I don't answer, he will just keep calling back. So that's just the answer. Um, so we're going to do this one like this. Um, make sure. Okay, let me make sure I got everything right. I'm going to make sure it's right. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, let's bring this up just a little bit. Bring this one up a little bit. Let's see if we can bring this one up a little bit. Yeah, we can. Bring this one up just a little bit as well. Bam. Okay. There we go. Now we have um, our covers done, right? We go in and we're gonna press it down. and your cover is done right cute okay so I am going to just rough it up a little bit I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then we are going to um, cover the inside um, okay guys so when I was cutting this piece to go in here I just decided to do it like this right 
let's just do it like this. Let's just use this bag as the cover right on that part like that. And then we don't have to cut so much, right? So what I'm going to do is make sure it is even first because, you know, I always get stuff uneven and it seems like it is uneven right there. So we'll cut this straight and then we'll, we'll cut um, and then we'll add it in the inside. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put score tape on this part, score tape on this part, not in the middle, and I'm just going to glue and put score tape on the edges and I'm just going to add glue in the inside and then we're just going to lay it down. Okay, okay guys, so I covered it and it looks kind of whack. <laughs> um, and I got off right here. So what we're going to do is I am just going to scuff it up. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's add some um, ink to the inside. Hopefully it doesn't look like this. Hopefully it, it dries nice. Um, and then we can always just use our um, distress ink to cover it up. Alright, that doesn't look bad at all. I'm gonna make sure it looks yeah. see a little gap right here. I we could add a little bit more glue in there. But other than that I think it looks Pretty doggone good. Okay, so um, I'm going to add a little bit more glue into that gap part. Clean this off, and then the last part will be to add okay. eye. Okay, let's measure for the eyelids and the elastics, okay? So here's my spine. Um, we're going to measure. We're going to put one right here and one right here. I think that's going to be like... Uh, one. Let's do one fourth of an inch away from the um the top, right? So let's do it right here, right, like right there, and then we're gonna add it on the other side as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's put them pretty close together. So about right here. Is that about right? Yeah, that looks about right. Hopefully it doesn't come out crooked, and it might, but it'll be okay. We can put a charm on there if it does, right? Yeah, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think. It's going to be okay. Let's move this one over just a little bit. Let's match this one up with this one. Okay. Like right there. Alright. Let's get our crocodile. I think this is going to be set right. Oh yeah. Set pretty much right. Alright. Okay. Guys, when you have fabric and glue and stuff like that, yeah, it's okay. We'll just do the other one. All right? Mm. Is that set right? Like, come on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cut that out. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too crooked. See? They're not too bad. Don't boast yet, Tanya. You're not done. You're not done, girl. Okay, guys, I, I need a new crocodile. My crocodile is like... But it's okay, I'll get one. No big deal. Okay. Do that one. And then do the next one. Alright. I have it set, so it should kind of be the same. Sometimes it moves out of place here. The setting, it kind of moves out of place. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
not too shabby. All right, now we're going to put our eyelets in there. I got black eyelets. I wish the Dollar Tree sewed eyelets, but they do not. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby is where I get my eyelets from. They're in the sewing section. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I can never... Oh, that's a little bit crooked, but it'd be alright. I can ne never measure... Um, gauge the size of my eyelets when I add when I get them online unless I get the We Are Memory Keepers eyelets and it is really hard to find those and um, it is cheaper if you go to Hobby Lobby okay okay not too bad not too bad right I don't like how that looks in the inside but that's okay we can just ink that up now I do have they do have elastic at the Dollar Tree so we're going to use the purple one um, I think that's going to match good right let's use the purple one alright so I'm going to try to do it <laughs> okay so I was always told you put in like in the middle then you come down that's kind of how you measure it right and then you go back up and then you come back down right and that should be more than enough all right so let's move all that elastic over there all right real easy keep one end right here go through here then go back through here and I like using the thin elastic um, too because it does not um, mess up your paper as much I mean you don't have that your paper is not ripping from the booklet you guys can see what I'm saying when we add it in there okay this great and one more just like that okay and then we'll bring it down and I'm not gonna add any beads on here um, I just may find that they get in the way so we're just going to um, tie it off. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Alright. Perfect. Then we're going to cut and cut about right here. Alright. And I cut, always cut too much string, but that's okay. And we're going to add another knot in there. Like that. Perfect. Okay, so we have made two journal covers. You guys can decide whichever cover you want to make. Um, I really love this one. <laughs> I just do. I love them both, but I think this one has to be my favorite. Eh, I don't know. But okay, so in the next video, guys, we will be... Um, do you guys like me to do both of them at the same time or would you prefer me to do just finish one and then finish the other one let me know but I for right now I'm trying to do both at the same time yeah I think that that'll work so in the next one we will um, add pockets in here and we're going to add a pocket um, insert in this one and then in here we are going to do pockets and we're going to get the pages in here because the pages of this one I think are going to be kind of plain um I'm thinking they're going to be kind of plain because I don't I don't know if I want to use pattern paper in here yet so we'll see you guys let me know are you guys okay to use a, a paper pad in here um I do have a couple would you guys want to do that they're old though but unless you guys want me to just use the paper from the Dollar Tree. I can do that too. Just let me know in, down in the comments below, okay? So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. God bless. Bye.